Hello. I wanted to give a small channel update since I haven't really been uploading much lately. I've been working on a lot of stuff on the back end and I've been refining some processes for Elden Ring's DLC. But first I want to thank you guys for all the support you have shown me and each other in helping grow this community. I didn't think I would get 700 subscribers trying to fix misinformation and overanalyze data about a fairly niche game genre. 700 subscribers is a lot, and I'm glad to see most of you are really interested in learning about Elden Ring and other Souls likes. I would also like to thank my Discord members who keep pushing me and themselves to expand our knowledge about the game. This is really cool to see, and we are one of the few communities who actually want to test our data. And test each other in getting data. Now, as of the time the studio re releases, there's a little less than a month away for the Shadow of the Urtree DLC, and I've been hard at work overhauling the weapon rankings and refining the factors for the ranking. The biggest change is that I'm not only considering DPS, but many other facets of weapon, as you can see in this rudimentary spreadsheet. I might make it look a little bit more pretty, but chances are you guys aren't going to actually see this in the video, so I might just keep it as it is. Which means that the weapon tier lists I have done are no longer considered accurate with any new ones I put out. So, for example, I will redo the claws and the whips and all the other ones I have done. But if I put out something for like an Ultra Great Sword, those aren't directly comparable to the ones I've already put out. You would have to wait for me to update the list. Additionally, I want to refrain from doing any further rankings until the DLC is out, since there will be undoubtedly be patches to change the weapons we have, and the DLC will be adding new weapons. And probably patching those weapons, because no doubt they're going to be kind of overtuned at first, like the other From Software DLCs. I also took some of your guys' advice and changed the damage negation and defense values to only factor the main bosses. Since, as many of you pointed out, most generic enemies will take 3-4 to four hits regardless of how you optimize. So, having optimizing for bosses that you'll likely encounter as the main story bosses and DLC bosses is probably more important to you guys for ranking a weapon than, say, a random Godric soldier being weighted the same as, well, Margit, Morgoth, Godfrey, Elden Beast, all that. Cryptid Tracker and I have also worked on uploading, updating the DPS calculator to factor in heavy attack DPS, and he has made a spreadsheet a lot less resource, resource intensive by limiting the number of cells that are used at once. So please give a big thank you to Cryptid Tracker. As for the videos I want to have done before then, I am hosting a PC Elden Ring tournament on June 1st, which I will link in the description if you're interested in playing. I'm also going to be doing a review of Lords of the Fallen, which I originally planned to do back when it launched and back when I made my original Lords of the Fallen review. But for the past few months, and for the past few months I've had 700 gigabytes of raw footage that I need to edit into a video just sitting on my PC. Also, I kind of need that space for doing Shadow of the Earth Tree stuff. I would also like to do a guide on a Legendary Difficulty Clan Angren campaign and Total War Warhammer 1 because I've only found one YouTube guide that's not current patch and that is one of my favorite games and I have struggled doing a legendary difficulty clan anger just because of how hard it is and I'm sure other people that are new to the series or that don't play as often don't find these guides because I had to look pretty hard to actually find them on the Steam forums and as I said, there's only one YouTube video, and it doesn't even cover the entire campaign. Finally, if I have time, I want to do a video essay on why clickbait is so prevalent in the Elden Ring community. If I don't get it to it before the DLC releases, I definitely want to get to it after. But first, I want to kind of solidify the weapon rankings, do some boss guides, do some individual build guides again, and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the DLC.